everyone, we are going to be doing a primary color picture and we are going to be using the artist Aziza Demetrian as inspiration. Her people have very long necks and in my video what I'm showing you is I started with a pencil roughly outlining where I wanted each head to go. We are going to be doing three women and we are only going to be using primary colors and what I'm showing you here is a lovely long necks. When you draw the nose it's almost an L shape connecting to the one eyebrow. When you're drawing the eyes don't forget to make them leaf shaped or human shaped and then don't forget your iris which is the colored part of your eye. The hair for the ladies is quite easy. You draw the shape of your head and you just draw a bob around the hair. Um, the ladies will have quite plump lips and because we are doing women, you can make them look quite sharp at the top. I am adding shadow in to my pictures and I am drawing with a black pencil crayon here. You might want to do your picture with a fine liner or a cokey and then later go in with a black pencil crayon and add the shadows. Um, I am drawing lips over there and you can see I've added a bit of darkness into the picture. Don't forget your eyes, you are going to be leaving a little dot in those eyes to show that there is a highlight. When you think of an eyeball, remember the eyeball is quite wet. So when light hits it, you can see a highlight in the eye. If you're not sure, go and have a look in the mirror. My woman wearing blue is um, finished and I'm moving on to the lady in the middle. Because we are doing primary colors, uh, I'm going to make the one woman wearing blue, the one wearing black, and the one wearing yellow. And then into the background, we're going to do red and blue. You might decide you want to do a different combination of colors. It's up to you. But make sure you don't have a blue background with a blue shirt. So make sure you're not doing two of the same colors on top of each other. What you can see is when I've added shading into my two women, I only added a shadow into the one side of their face. So you can see on the right hand side I've added shadows into those ladies. I'm now coloring in my lady wearing a yellow jersey or outfit. And you can see when I'm using my pencil crayons, I am coloring in nice and hard. I'm also adding shadows into the yellow jersey with a black pencil crown, but I'm using it very lightly into my picture. Okay, and then I've moved on to my third lady, adding the red lips, adding the shadow with that black pencil crown, and darkening up areas I need to darken. Yeah, you can see I'm doing my shadow on the right hand side again, adding a bit of color into those eyes. I thought it'd be cute to add red cheeks and then I am coloring in that hair with that black pencil crown. Again, if you prefer to color in with cokey or paint, you may do that as well. Um, at this stage, I decided I wanted to do paint in my background and I'm using watercolor. I decided to do the top um, half red and then right, right, right at the end, I was going to do blue at the top. So red in the middle half, sorry, not the top half. So you can see the red touches the yellow jersey and the blue jersey, but you don't have the same color on top of each other. So red on red is not happening. You're not having blue on blue or yellow on yellow. So make sure that when you do use your primary colors, they aren't on top of each other. Uh, 
I then decided I was going to use a bit of yellow paint in her jersey to add a bit of shadows and then I went into the blue background right at the top blue and what you can see is how effective the primary colors are just working with three colors yellow red and blue and then your black and white as well I went in with the blue paint on top of my pencil crayon and I did add a little bit of a blue tint into the hair you don't have to do that I used black paint into the hair to make it nice and dark now you could do that with a koki if you prefer wait for it to dry and go in with a koki as well you can see that black paint just um, makes it look a lot better than my very light colouring in that I had done. And then I decided to do the lady in the middle wearing a black top. So you may want to leave one of them wearing um, a white top or um, alternated in a different way. It's up to you. But your picture should have your primary colours black and white. And I left their skin quite light, but you did see I had the shading on the right hand of their faces. After I had let my paint dry a little bit, I actually did decide to add a darker blue into my background. And that's what you're seeing now. And a dark red I put into my background as well. Uh, I, I added a bit of dark blue into the jersey and then that's me adding dark red just a little bit to show shadows behind your three ladies. And there we go. That is our primary colour picture inspired by a Caesar de Me Demetria. And I'm just writing a little label for my picture. There we go. Inspired by Caesar Demetrian. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see your primary portraits.